Hey y'all, so it is time for my second month update for my current project pan, which I called very cheesily Finish Nine by Hawaii Time. It just kind of makes me cringe every time I see it. Like, I really couldn't come up with anything better than that. Anyway, so I've done really well in the project though. Just finishing up month two. We're about to start month three, with, which is the final month. I'm ending this right at the beginning of July. So I only have three products left. Of the nine original products that I put in here, I only have one left of those. Then I added in three additional items as I was kind of using up stuff. So, and of those, I finished one. So I have two add-ins and one original product to use up. So let's just get into it. I'll show you what I've used up since the last update. The one that I am probably the most proud of and was kind of surprised that it went as quickly as it did because it was slow going up into the very last bit is the Benefit Powder Flush. And if you can see here, that was my intro and second, first update, excuse me. These like sphere shaped items are always hard to mark. And I pulled the, you know, little sifter out and got every last drop and Boy, do I miss this product. I didn't realize that I would miss it as much as I do. I, I've never seen another product like this, and I don't know why they discontinued it. I really don't. And there's no point in me lingering over it. Not only is it not cruelty-free, but they don't even make it anymore and haven't for quite some time. So there's no point in me crying over spilled milk, basically. But if you do have any good under eye, like this was just so brightening and it did so much. Like it concealed and covered and brightened so well with just like the most minimal amount of powder. I don't know, man, it was just, it was an awesome product, and that's why I just cannot fathom why they discontinued this. Anyway, so if you have any recommendations of good under eye setting powders like that, but cruelty free, I, man, I would be, I could kiss you right now if you did. I know a lot of people use the e.l.f. one, but every time I've seen it, it has glitter in it, and I know people say it's been reformulated. The ones I see around here still have glitter. So, anyways, I miss this. I really do. That was a great product. It even worked really well on, like, acne spots or anything anything you wanted to cover on your face because it reflected light. There was not glitter in it at all, but somehow it reflected light. It was... It was a great product. I do really miss it. So I did use that up. Again, went way faster than I thought it would. The next product I was kind of shocked I finished was the Urban Decay Lip Liner in Naked. And if you're ever wondering, like if you're trying to pan one of these, how low they go, I will show you. When I was sharpening it, that very last time, everything just fell out and got like shredded up mid-turn as I was sharpening it. So it all just came out, if you can see. So you don't get all the way to the bottom with these. If you can see there, you can see I had quite a decent amount of product left when I started this. That middle mark there is the first update, and now it is gone. Uh, so that was about two weeks of use, maybe a little bit longer from the second update to when it just fell out and was done. Um, I will say there's like a waxy core in there down at the bottom, I guess, to probably adhere it to the packaging or to keep it stable. And once you start hitting that, there's really not much left. And it also starts getting uncomfortable to use too, because that will mess up your line when you're trying to draw. So I actually really like these lip liners. I think you get a decent amount of product. I think they last for a really good time. I think they dry out a little bit too quickly. I did not have that a year and it was starting to pull away from the wood on the inside. Um, but I did really like it. I just wish they had a better nude color for me. Like this one was the closest one and even it was still a little bit too war orangey warm. I, I said orange. Orange. Seriously, Jacqueline? Seriously. Then I finally did finish up the CoverGirl Gloss Balm in the shade 230, and I had not hardly used this one at all because I was focusing on that very first nude lipstick uh, that I finished in my first update, but it is all the way, like it is gone, and I am not going to dig it out. I was not that interested in it. Also, what I noticed, like this, first of all, this has a 36 month mark, 36 month marker on a lip product, and I've maybe had this a year, and it was already starting to it wasn't starting to smell. I could just tell it was getting a little, you know, that like plasticky, crayony scent. I could tell it was starting to go there. And that was a year. I can't imagine keeping this for two more years. I think that marker is way, way off. It should have like a 12 month, maybe 18 month max, but not 36 months. So that was the start mark up there. Then the 
first update, which I hadn't hardly touched it. I just used it like one or two times. And then from, it was probably about three weeks of dedicated use that used it all the way up. I can't remember if I mentioned this in my first update or not, it's been a while, but I finished up the CO Bigelow Mentha Lip Shine, the breath freshening, half lip gloss, half lip treatment product. It's fine, it's a lip balm, it's a lip treatment, it's whatever. I would not repurchase it, not that into it, but it was perfectly nice while I was using it. But really glad that I just don't have a bunch of lip balms hanging around in my collection because for me, those things are really easy to stack up. At one point, I think I had like four EOS or something like that. You know, my mom likes to give them in stockings. I'm not that into them. I don't think they're really that nourishing for the lips. I got rid of all of them. So I'm really glad I don't have a bunch of lip balm anymore. Again, I can't remember if I updated on this or not. I really should have watched my last video. But this is the Collection Privé, which has been renamed. I think it's like Private Collection or Exclusive Collection or something now, um, in Jennifer's Nudes L'Oreal Lipstick. And it is absolutely done. Again, I'm not into scraping it out. If there is a product, maybe I just haven't come across something I love so much that I actually want to scrape it out. But if I do, I'll let you know. So far, I have not. Um, but it, it was a very nice new lipstick that I fell in love with and bought a year, year and a half ago, something like that. And I just used it up. I wasn't that into it now. I don't know, just started pulling a little bit orange. It was still, it was perfectly nice. I liked it, but I didn't love it like I did when I bought it. And that was about a month's worth of use that it took to use that up. It was actually a little bit more slow going than I thought it would be. I thought that was going to go really quickly because it is more of a sheer formula. You can kind of lay it on a bit thick, but no, it took every bit of a month to use this up. And I'm so, like, I was so happy when I finished all these lip products because while I enjoyed them, I was definitely happy to get back into other things. I don't know. I like doing these kind of rotations where I get a break and then I pan and then I get a break and then I pan. So I'm not letting anything go bad. I'm still getting to play with stuff, but then I can kind of pull things out after I've been playing with them for a while that I know I want to use up, use them up and then move on. So I'm really enjoying where I'm at right now. Then I also used up the mask that I had in here. It's the Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. You can see that was my intro. That was my first update and then it was gone. Um, I, I don't know, it's a mask, seriously. I, I've never once used a mask, sheet mask or otherwise, that I've been like, oh yeah, like this works. I am so doing this every single week. It's more so that I just like the routine of it. I like putting on the mask, I like sitting there in the chair, or whatever, reading a book and relaxing. So it's more so just like the whole routine of it than the actual results of it. So it's perfectly fine, it's nice. I, I would get it again, I guess, but I mean, and it's cheap too. But it's just nothing that I was like, oh my gosh, this does so much for my skin. Then in the first update, I had used up three things, which I'll just run through real quick. It was the uh, Cover FX Mattifying Primer, which was just a primer. Really nothing remarkable. It was perfectly fine. Nice enough primer, just a very standard silicone primer. Then I used up the Juicy Couture Couture La La Roller Ball, which I did decant into a little travel size spray and used it that way. I just prefer it. I'm not crazy about roller balls. And then I also used up, when I finished that one, I threw this perfume in here, which is the Victoria's Secret Travel Size of the Oh So Sexy. I bought this two years ago as the perfume I took to Hawaii, and it just reminds me of Hawaii now. Now with the add-ins, I still have three products left, and I'm going to save the best for last because I've got a bit of a story. So the first one is the Bedhead After Party Smoothing Treatment thing, which I've used up, I can't tell, countless bottles of this in my lifetime. So ignore this mark down here. I just like to randomly mark my products. That was where I put it in, but I put it in between two updates. So that was actually the first update where y'all saw this product, and that was about a two-week time span in between there. And then that is where I am right now. So that is essentially a month's worth of use right there. It's a, it's kind of slow going. It is. And I use this every day, twice a day. But judging by that, I'll be done maybe in about three weeks to a month. I'll be done with this. Then I just threw in my little Marc Jacobs. It was the birthday gift of the highlighter in black. And I will tell you, I really like this pencil. So unfortunately, I won't be buying it. Um, I only have one black eyeliner after this and it's the Too Faced Perfect Eyes 
and I'm going to have to mess around with it. I haven't used it in a while, but it, it moves on me really bad. It doesn't stand my waterline, if I remember correctly. So I may need some good recommendations, but I've never had a pencil stand my waterline so good. I almost wish I hadn't gotten this, but I did want to go ahead and use it up. I don't have a whole lot left of it, and I use it every single day, so this will go pretty quickly. Then the last product we have is the Laura Geller Highlighter, which is the, like, big product that I put in here that I didn't know if I was going to finish or not and I did a little bit of surgery on it as you can see it, there's kind of a whole story going along with it so just sit back for a second so basically I had used up I actually did really well on this and I've used up a ton of the product I had started trying to use this up before I put it in the challenge and there was use on it already because I had loved this highlighter for so long this is it's like a quad it had three eyeshadows in it and it's called amethyst skies anyway so I didn't like the eyeshadows so I wanted to use this up and I got to the point where the highlighter was like right up on the eyeshadows and I couldn't get in there with my brush and it was really really hard panned in there I don't know if that was my fault or if it's just really tightly packed when it gets to that area or what um, so I knew I wanted to repress it either that or I was gonna have to get rid of it so what I decided to do was scrape the remaining highlighter out and then I also loved I fell in love with that lilac purple shadow in there as a highlighter like it just I thought it was beautiful and especially mixed together between like the peachy pink highlighter and then this icy purple it gave like a duochrome effect I thought it was gorgeous so I scraped those two out mixed them together and repressed it into this but I did not do the best job I don't know if it's because it's a baked product or because this is not a true pan it's not a metal smooth pan I'm repressing into like a ceramic plate I don't know but I posted a picture on Instagram and I was like it literally looks like a unicorn took a shit and I tried to repress it it's just and I've tried to clean it up a bit since but it was just like everywhere and messy and like my toilet paper that I was pressing it was stuck to the plate and just not my best repressing job um, and then yesterday the first day I was gonna go to use this you know I used it it kicked up a little bit of powder and so I just kind of lightly blew the powder off and this whole chunk right here right there just flew off and flew into my carpet and I was like yeah I can't do that that's lost so anyways that is how much I have left of it I know it's a little bit hard to see but it's not a whole whole lot I'll give you a little swatch here and I love the color that I made it I really like it it toned down it was a little bit of a darker peachy pink and it toned it down made it a little bit cooler I guess it's a little bit more neutral I don't know now it's just a very very pink shade so whatever I like it it's a highlighter I'll use it up and I'd say I have maybe about another week or so left on there if I just use it every day it'll probably be gone So that is my progress. I hope everyone else is doing really well on their current pans. I've been, you know, as always, checking up on everyone, watching everyone's update videos. It seems like everyone's in a really good place right now, too. A lot of people doing some, you know, finish by summer, four by fours, ones that end right about the same time mine does, too. So anyways, let me know. Are you trying to pan right now? What one item are you trying to get rid of, trying to use up? I would love to know. And also, I'm serious about this one. If you have under eye setting powders, I need like I need one. I wish I think I think it was Love Heatherette who said she wishes Kat Von D would um, like put out duos of her shade and light palette. And oh my god, that's like the best idea. I so wish she would do that because that very first highlight and contour shade would be perfect for me. But I would never use the rest of that palette. And I don't want to spend that much for a bunch of shades I'm not going to use. So, anyways, let me know please please let me know so I will see y'all in a couple of days in the next video I'm so ready to go on vacation like so ready it is pushing me through the work week trust me so ready to get out of here and relax for a while anyways see y'all later and remember that you are already famous right where you are in your hometown you're famous to me love y'all bye